everyone and welcome to today's video if you haven't already please press that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell to be updated on future videos so I've just finished the gift shop for Adelaide Sue as you saw previously in the video and I made it rather small because it's a small gift shop for a small zoo I know the real zoo that I'm sort of basing the the Adelaide Zoo series off is Adelaide Zoo and it's actually the second oldest zoo in Melbourne, Australia. This isn't a total recreation zoo at all. I'm taking some concepts and some species and ideas and different construction and architecture from the zoo and implementing it into Adelaide Zoo. But I'm not. It's not a full re recreation. It's something that I'd like to call a mixy mixy match. So it's like mixed between real life and in imagination. Um, I might make a recreation in the future, but the actual real life zoo has over 300 species of uh, native animals to Australia and 3,000 animals on site. So, yeah. <laughs> we don't actually have enough animals to even fit into Adelaide, the real life real life Adelaide Zoo so I wouldn't even try um, to go in there and recreate it like that so I did add a bridge which will go over to the other side of the zoo so we have two different sprouted directions right now I'm making a sign for the bamboo forest um, so that just to give it some detail so in the real Adelaide Zoo they have pandas and it's an interesting fact, I was speaking with my friend about it, was uh, China owned every panda in every zoo. So all, it, it's crazy that all pandas come from China and they actually come and visit the zoos that they have, that they have the pandas in. And they check on their well-being, making sure that the breeding um, is doing okay. And they're pretty much on loan. To zoo, so uh, no zoo actually owns a panda except for China. So I thought that was an interesting fact to share with everyone. If, if you didn't know, I was quite shocked to know that. And know Adelaide Zoo have quite a few pandas, and their panda exhibit is amazing. It's one of the, of the best I have seen. So I'd like to try recreate that as true to life as possible, with some added, um, you know, features and stuff like that. Um, so that's why I think they have the bamboo forest. They have a massive bamboo forest in Adelaide Zoo and it's a walk through and you can go through aviaries and go across streams and like bridges and you can see like different animals through the bamboo forest. So I'm definitely, this is the start of um, a massive, well I wouldn't say massive, I'm not going to do massive, remember it's going to be small zoo, but a very um, nice thick bamboo forest and they actually go into the forest and they cut the bamboo down and feed their pandas on site um, and all the animals that do eat bamboo on site um, so I think that was pretty cool I know that they actually grow bamboo and different plants and vegetation in animal kingdom in America I know that a couple of zoos are like self growing and like <laughs> growing animals 
<laughs> no, um, they they grow their veg and grow their um, plant life because obviously it saves costs as well. So I thought that was a neat idea. I didn't actually know that until I started building and looking into zoos some more. So it's a really good feature. Right now I am adding in black kind of uh, volcanic rocks into the actual Bambi uh, forest because in the real life Adelaide Zoo they do add these beautiful rock, black rocks and they look really, really beautiful so I'm trying to add bits and pieces into it. If this video is rather slow it's because it's completely live and um, you're watching me build without I, I've never really done a build without um, a speed build so yeah we're trying something new if you enjoy this part of um, the video or you enjoy any of the new aspects that I've added into the videos let me know in the comments below so that I know what you guys like and we can um, you know keep trying and you know have uh, the videos interesting to watch also another thing I have opened my discord officially which is really exciting and we have I'm gonna put the link in the description now so that guys uh, you guys can join in and stuff we have community night uh, tonight uh, which is Saturday so Saturday we have um, every other week on a Saturday we have um, game night and every Sunday every other Sunday we have movie nights which are picked by the community and it's really fun there's a lot of us in there and we are a good bunch of people so if you guys want somewhere to hang out chat about different games chat about Planet Zoo and if you're a content creator and you want to come in and share your work and get to know some people then you know you're more than welcome to come and join it's completely free it's discord you can download it on um just from googling it um i think you can download it on your phone as well i have it on my phone so yeah uh feel free to do that <laughs>
say right now I'm just so if you saw me terraforming I was trying to make a more in-depth kind of a viewing area so we so you don't just see flat land so you see some like kind of dark areas to contrast like shadows and stuff like that so that's the reason why it's there it looks weird right now but hopefully in the future it um it gets better i imagine a different kind of bamboo now um to give it a thicker look and to make it look more like a forest I'm um, adding them up onto the ramp area as well so they're not just because they're quite small so I need to give it some height that's what I'm doing right now So key fact, if you're noticing that they're all the same height right now, that is because I was placing them where I decided to have them. So I will, f before I'm finished, I'll move some bamboo up, down, maybe to twist them a little bit to um, give them, give it a more realistic look. Right now it's just like straight um, in line foliage, which isn't realistic so I need to go back into that I'm just showing you a rough angle of how much I want to do before we get into the panda area so this is going to lead off into the pandas which makes absolute sense <laughs> I am going over and I'm deleting some that I don't like and I'm giving like a kind of an open area where we can put some statues and like some signs when I make them so I'm making that's what I'm doing right now I'm making a shape
So I've managed to make certain areas that I can place the bamboo eating animal statues. <laughs> Sorry about the beams of sunlight, so I've only just noticed now um, that I was too busy looking at what I was looking for, <laughs> which I don't remember what I was looking for right now, so sorry about that, but oh, now I remember, I was going to make a fencing all the way around the pathway to make sure that people weren't going into the forest and damaging stuff, you know, as people do. <laughs> By the way, I like this song. It makes it makes me feel kind of jazzy, jazzy snazzy. <laughs>
I am finishing the finishing touches, deleting some bamboo to make some more areas for more props and statues and I'm making custom signs for the zoo, which takes some time. I am sorry for that laser beam of light. I hope you guys are wearing your sunglasses. Um, it would be a wise idea. I actually looked at the screen and squinted, so <laughs> I am really sorry. <laughs> I am going to pop out of commentary and love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next video. Um, bye for now!